what's going on people switch brew here and welcome back to another video tutorial so in this video tutorial what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to change the original nintendo switch boot logo to a logo of your choice now if you look on my channel i did a video on this previously however a lot of people complaining in the youtube comments um, about different issues so i'm going to try and iron these out in this new video so basically before you start doing anything you're going to need to install python on your computer so if i go ahead and go to control panel right now and head into programs and features and type in p as you can see python is there the version i've got is 3.11.1 however if there's a newer version of python out just grab that once you've installed it on your computer give your computer a quick restart and then come back to the video once you've come back to the video what you want to do is go ahead and download the switch logo patcher master from the video description and then we can properly get started so the first thing that you'll want to do is you want to go ahead and open this folder up once you've downloaded it you'll then want to hold shift right click and click open in terminal once you've got the terminal open it should be automatically in the switch logo patcher master folder so then what you want to do is go ahead and open the instructions by switchbrew.txt so as you can see once you've got this open the first command lines that you'll need to do are the two following command lines here so the first thing you'll want to do is install ips.py so if you go ahead and copy this and then right click in the uh, powershell window or your cmd window and then it should put this in for you once you've done that you want to go ahead and press enter and if you haven't already got this installed obviously if it's your first time doing this you won't basically it'll go ahead and install this i've got already got it installed it does say i'm on an older version and it can be updated to this version however i know it works so i'm not going to bother updating it next again you'll want to install pillow so you copy this command line here press the right mouse button and it should automatically paste it into the window for you go ahead and click enter again as you can see it's already installed on my computer for you it should drop down and do a couple of things and install it for you once you've done that you're pretty much ready to go so what i'm going to do is close this down for now i'm going to go ahead and close this down for now and i'm going to close out of here for now so the next thing that you'll need to do is you will need to grab a logo or create a logo that you want to use so if i right click on this logo i've made here which i'll show you in a second and go to properties if we go to details this is the sizes of the file and what you need to be able to use the logo so the width of the image is 308 pixels the height is 350 pixels don't worry about the bit depth but basically you want the file to be a png so if you get the file from the internet as you can get pre-made logos off the internet if you just go to google and type in nintendo switch boot logos you should be able to find some um, basically make sure they're saved as a png if they're not go ahead and convert it to P a png however if you've made it yourself in for example photoshop you can just go ahead and save it as a png file yourself so once you've got a logo ready and you've got the switch logo patcher master file on your desktop what you want to do is open this up and go ahead and drag your file in here so what i tend to do is as you can see i've named mine logo1.png if i'm doing multiple i'll name my next one logo2.png and then the next one after that logo3.png and so on and so forth so the first thing that you'll want to do in here is basically you will need to make a folder corresponding to your image so as you can see my image is called logo1.png so what i'm going to do is go ahead and go to new folder and create a folder called logo1 with no spaces to correspond with this following image file once you've done that you can go ahead hold shift right click on your mouse and open terminal the next thing that you'll want to do is open the instructions again and i'm going to move this across so basically what you want to do then is this is the command line here for generating the logo file so what i'm going to do is go ahead and copy this i'm going to right click in here and it's going to automatically paste it now as you can see 
as I said earlier, you've got logo one here, which is the directory for the folder. And then you've got the uh, your image file, as you can see, logo one.png, logo one.png. So if, if I were doing another logo and that it were named logo two.png and the folder that I created were called logo two, obviously I changed this to logo two and then I changed this to logo two.png. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead now and press enter. And basically what I should do is drop down to another line and have nothing there. So once you've done that, what you want to do is you can go ahead and click close. If I jump into the logo one folder now, as you can see, it's made 19 files. And basically this is the folder that you're gonna copy across to your Nintendo Switch console. So I'm gonna leave that here for now. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to boot into heck at it on my switch and mount the SD card. And then I'll unpause the video and show you guys what to do from here. So I have just plugged in my Nintendo switch. And as you can see, here is the SD card. So the logo file or the folder, sorry, that you've just patched. What you want to do is you want to open the atmosphere folder. You want to head into the X sorry exefs underscore patches folder and this is where you're going to place the logo that you have just generated so if i go back to the switch um logo patcher master folder there's my logo one 19 files inside what you want to do is just go ahead and grab this and drag it into this folder here and basically what that's going to do is replace the nintendo switch normal logo for your custom logo now, just a quick one, um, when making a logo, you want to really make sure that the background is black at all times, because if it's any other color and it's a square, for example, you're going to be able to tell that it's a square image. So if you make the background black, that basically blends in and then all you can see is the actual main logo that you've made. So yeah, just make sure you've got a black background and everything will be hunky dory. So once you've done this, what you want to do is go ahead and eject your sd card or as i've just done ejected the ums which is the usb mass storage you want to if you're in hecate which you should be or if you're not you want to boot into hecate if you're already in hecate because you've used the ums what you want to do is go ahead and press reload at the bottom on the home screen and this is just going to refresh the uh, system so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to switch over onto my phone camera and i'm going to roll some b-roll footage and show you the new logo which i have applied to the console so i'll see you on the iphone Thank you. 